सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर डिटेल्स सो गाइज टूडे आई वी टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट एबस्ट्रैक्ट आर्ट इफेक्ट विद यूजिंग क्लोथ सिलेशन इफेक्ट So firstly, guys, click on here, and guys, delete your camera and light. See, guys, that's my simple cube. And next one, guys, I create extrude. So go to on edit mode, and guys, select this face, this one. That's my faces, and select all. And now, guys, I create extrude. So extrude individually, this one. Yes, and guys, increase. This extrude size, yeah, right. Okay, so next one, guys. I create bevel. So bevel shortcut command is press Control B, and guys, that's my bevel setting. Increase this one breadth size, like zero point seven, randomly, and segments, guys. Increase, I like five. Guys, breadth. I like zero point eight is good. Yeah. See, guys, that's my simple shape. Okay. So, guys, next one, I apply subdivision surface. This one. Yes. And guys, render. I like three. And viewport level three is good. Yeah. And now, guys, little bit increase this size. So, this time, press S letter. As increase size like this, yeah. See guys, that's really good. That's my simple shape, right? And right click, shade smoother, yes. And next one, guys, I apply. This time, go to add mesh and use round cube. This one, this one, yes. And guys, radius I like one, and arc like sixteen. Yeah, and now guys, press seven. That's my top view level, and increase size. Select this round cube, and press S letter. Increase, increase like this. See guys, that's my shape, right? Okay, so now guys, I create animation. Guys, frame I like end frame five hundred. Yes, so guys, select this cube, this one, mid one, and This time, guys, go to on here. Increase scale size animation. So, guys, go to one frame and scale size one. And now, guys, go to like five second, five frame, and guys, a increase size. Scale size press one. Increase like one point two, yeah, and one point two, one point two, yeah, and guys, key all. Yes, go to back and play. Yes, see guys, that's my simple shape. Okay, so now guys, I create next one rotation animation. So go to on five second, guys rotation all check. Now guys go to on lastly five hundred frames, last and guys all rotation one zero eight zero, enter one zero eight zero. Yeah, and guys, select all keys. Yes. Okay, so guys, go to back and play. Yes. See, guys, that's my animation, rotation animation. And guys, go to on here, wireframe. So go to back and play. Yeah. See, guys, that's really good. Right. Okay, so guys, now I apply glow simulation and collider effect. So stop. And next one, guys. Hide lines. Guys, select this inner cube. This one. That's my inner cube. So, guys, go to on here, and this one. Apply. That's my collision. Select. Click. Yes. And next one, guys, select this one. That's my round cube. And guys, apply cloth effect. Cloth simulation. Yes. 
Okay, so guys, go to back and play. Yeah, see guys, that's my close simulation effect. And now, guys, hide cube, this one, inner cube, hide, and hide on render. Yes, and guys, go to back and play. Yeah, okay, so guys, next one, I change some setting on close simulation. Select this cube. So go to back, and guys, go to cloth. Cloth quality, I like 10, yes. And vertex map, I like 20 is good. Yeah. And guys, and guys go to stiffness, this one. All stiffness, I like 5, 5, and 5, yes. And guys, dumping, dumping, 0. This time, 0, 0, and 0. Guys, lastly, also 0, yes. Right, see guys, that's my stiffness and dumping. And now, guys, go to on here, collision. Guys, same quality, I like 10. And object collision is good. And self collision, check. Yes. And guys, go to lastly, field weight. This one, gravity, I like 0. And turbulence, 0. Yeah. Okay, so guys, go to back and play. Yes, that's really good. Now, guys, I create smoothness. So, guys, one more time play. Yeah. Guys, take a little bit time for animation. So, stop. Go to back and play. Yes. Really good. Okay. So, now, guys, I apply subdivision surface. Guys, select this cube, outer cube, and subdivision surface. Guys, 3 and 3. Yes. And right click, shade smoother. Yes, and guys, go to back and play. Yes, really good. Okay, so guys, now I create baking. So go to on here, and guys, go to catchy, guys, and catchy, take 500. Yes, and bake all check. Guys, it's take a little bit time for baking. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished now. Guys, go to back and play. Yes. See, guys, that's really good. That's my beautiful cloth simulation animation and abstract artifact. Okay. So, guys, my final animation is finished and that's really good. So, stop. Guys, now I create beautiful material. So, guys, select this here and apply materials. So guys, go to on create new material. Yeah. And base color. Guys, go to on HSV. Guys, first color, I like 0 0.026. And S, I like 0 0.75735. Enter. And V, I like 1. Yeah. Guys, metallic, I like 1. I create shine effect. And roughness, guys, decrease 0 0.1. Yes. Okay. So, guys, click on here. Yeah. See, guys, that's my beautiful shiny material and height lines like this yeah and guys go to back and play yes really good okay so guys now stop guys this time i create background so use plane and increase size more yes and guys go to rotation rotation guys 90 so go to back yeah okay so guys this time i take camera so camera and guys camera set your camera angle all rotation 90 and guys go to yeah is good yes okay see guys that's my camera angle and now guys i create material for this background select and create new guys base color H I like 0 0.024 and S 0 0.75 and V 1. Yeah. And guys, roughness this time 0 0.3 is good. Okay. So guys, go to on here. That's my word property and use environment texture. Yes. Guys, go to on here. Guys, I have SDRI environment texture. That's my SDRI texture. Guys, select this one. Yes, and guys, I create one frame render. So go to play. 
yes see guys that's my beautiful material so now guys create one frame render that's my tutorial part yes okay so guys now i change render setting so this time i use cycle render and device gpu check guys max amp 128 is good yes and guys go to again render render image check yes see guys that's my beautiful render right okay so guys my final animation and all render setting is finished so close so guys go to on here and frame rate i use 30 and output guys click on output and create new folder and take any file name yeah and accept that's it guys so guys go to back and render and render animation check so guys after render you can import your all render sequences is from premiere pro and fcp and create mp4 format file okay so guys that's it my final effect is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you